Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, bringing you another Let's Play series. Was Parasite Eve not scary enough for you? Do you like to be able to see your feet when you're jumping from platform to platform? Are you musically inclined? Then come and let's play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the 3DS. Although I'm using the 3DS version for this LP, uh, this well, this playthrough will apply to any other version of the game. The original Nintendo 64, or it's also on the GameCube, the Nintendo Wii, the Wii U, probably the Nintendo Switch someday, but not as of this recording. Now, as you can see, on the bottom screen there, we actually have two potential quests to choose from. And I'm going to be showing both of them. This will be a double LP feature, similar to how I handled the two quests in the Zelda 1 LP, where th there's the normal quest and then the master quest, which you unlock from beating the normal quest originally. And, well, master quest is naturally a lot harder. And I'll go into that when, well, when I get there. But for the normal quest, we're going to start with that. And, as usual, I'll be going for 100% item collection, 100% uh, chest collection, or at least as far as I know about where all the chests are. Uh, let's see, 100% dungeon map completion. Uh, it's, everything is going to be glitchless in the normal quest. I'm going to use a nice, easy beginner's route for those playing along with me. And, yeah, I'm basically going to be going through the game as intended there. Master Quest, not so much. So let's see, let's start with our name here, Link, HC Link. No, no, there is no HC Link. But yeah, with Master Quest, uh, I'll still be doing 100% uh, glitchless for that one, but I'll also utilize a lot more advanced techniques that like you might see in a speed run or, or like the routing that I'm going to do to collect all the items, things like that. And by the way, as far as the episode lengths go, I mean, this episode will be a little longer, but for the most part, I'm planning on the episodes being a lot shorter than my recent projects because they were obscenely long games. This is not. So I'm very happy to be able to go back to relatively shorter episodes. So let's see what's going on in Hyrule. Is it like a mana tree or something? Eh, close enough. Okay, so we got tree people. He's lucky. The text in this part, by the way, is moving automatically. Well, if you're shivering in bed there, maybe you should, I don't know, use a blanket or something? I don't know. Call me crazy. Although, I usually don't like using blankets myself, but that's just a personal preference. What's going on here? Seems like a bad weather to go out for a horse ride. Whoa! Talk to the hand! Who is that guy? Eh, he's probably not important. Hey, how's it going? Nice stash you got there, dude. <laughs> a tree with a mustache. How do you beat that? Oh, well, yeah, I could have told you that. Oh, okay. I'm not really sure what that's all about, even having played the game, but okay. Nuts. Well, then your barrier isn't very good, is it? Oh, okay. So, am I going to become king or something? Well, you are in a forest. No pressure or anything on you, little fairy. Strange 
looking fairy there, or just a little ball of light with wings. But okay. Well, we gotta show off the 3D camera angles and everything like that. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, back in the day, this was high-tech stuff. We didn't have stuff like this that often back in the day. Oh. Well, what was the point of that? Was it, I wonder if that was, like, intentional there, just to show the camera reacting, or maybe it was an animation error that they just decided to leave in there. I can't tell which would seem more likely to me. But, alright. Hey, how's it going? Oh, now? Leave me alone! Yep, pretty much! Quit bothering me. What do you want? Oh. Hey, how's it going? So I guess you're gonna be my navigator, as it were? Oh. Okay, I guess. Uh, do I have any preparations to make or anything? Okay. But alright, yeah. The, to move around, we got the little circle pad. Or analog stick or whatever you call that thing on the 3DS to move around. On the bottom screen there in the upper left, you see you got the view camera button so you can change to, yeah, a side view like that or a bird's eye view whenever you're in like a building or, so, or just a room, I guess, or whatever. So let's get out of here. There's nothing we can do inside there right now. So, let's take a look around. Oh, someone's here to visit me. Oh, hey, the green-haired girl. How powerful could she possibly be? Well, let's go talk to her. Now, to well, get down there, you can either just move the analog stick towards the ladder and you'll automatically start climbing up and down or whatever. But there's a little faster way you could get down there if you want. If you face away from the ledge there, hold down the L button, then with the analog stick, move back, or hold back or down, and then press the A button. Haha! -ha! Yeah, you could just do a little backflip to get down there a bit faster. Yeah, speedruns do that all the time. I did a lot of research on speedruns and various other things. Although I created my own route for the normal quest. Oh! Uh, thanks! Well, something like that. Oh. Okay. Bye! See ya! Yeah, you can examine signs and things like that by just walking up to them and pressing the A button. And let's see, well this thing is exclusive to the 3DS version of the game. Uh, Shika, 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 I don't know. However you pronounce that thing. I am not a hardcore fan of the game as far as like all the lore and everything. I mean, I, I think it's a good game, don't get me wrong. I just haven't played the game like 50 or 100 times since childhood. So, I am sure there are a lot of people that know much more about this game than I do. But yeah, as far as this thing goes, well, we can't really do anything with that right now, but we'll remember that for later. It's not particularly important. Also, you might notice on the bottom screen there where that view icon was before, now we got Navi there, and yeah, she can just... Uh, yeah, give you advice or whatever's going on, so. Okay, well, let's head on over to the Deku Tree. Let's see. Well, we got this little rock here. If you face towards it, press the A button, you can grab it. And then press the A button again, you can throw it. Okay, well, nothing happened, but sometimes a rock might have something inside of it. And you can get items that way. By the way, to change the camera angle, like the, 
direction Link is facing, just tap the L button and it'll change to that direction there. It's not like a, like a Final Fantasy 12 or 13 where you got like dual analog sticks to control the camera angles. No, no, you don't have that in this game. Let's see. Well, we got some recovery hearts there, but nothing I really need. Well, let's see what this guy's doing here. Oh, with your bare hands? How does it even work? Oh, evidently. Hmm, Mido and Saria, or Mido, I don't know, whatever. But, uh, hmm, have I heard those two names before? Well, those were names of two of the towns in Zelda 2, and I guess they decided to use those names here for some reason. Well, I don't have anything to cut the grass with either. I mean, I guess I could try to grab the grass, but yeah, nothing will happen. Yeah, you can't do anything with that, but... Well, let's see. If you go around the side here... Yeah, we got a little ramp that takes us up here. And let's see. Okay, so yeah, let's take a look around up here. Let's see. To change the angle, camera angle to the left, yeah, just press the L button there. Oh, uh, thanks. I guess adulthood starts early around here, huh? Are there any actual adults around here besides the Deku Tree? Or is this just like a fancy orphanage of some sort? But yeah, you can press the view icon here and, yeah, move the 3DS around to, well, take a look around. Because you got, like, gyroscope in the... 3DS there to move things around. Speaking of which, let's take a look at our options here. Let's see, with L targeting, I want to change that to Switch. Uh, basically, what that does is it lets you lock on to a target, so you're always going to be facing it, or you could interact with it, or whatnot. And let's see, for camera control, I personally like inverted, but you do whatever you want. Same thing with L targeting. Some people like the whole hold down the L button, but I find that to be a little cumbersome. And the motion controls are for the gyroscope. And I love this immensely better than like like the how the Nintendo Wii would have handled or handled motion controls, things like that. But uh, the gyroscope makes manual aiming immensely easier than the original version of the game. I mean, it's still the same general idea. You just have a, a gyroscope to help you aim more precisely. And, well, that's one of the reasons why I'm able to LP this game at all. Because, yeah, with the analog sticks, I mean, I could do that, but it's not preferable for me. I am not very good with the analog sticks on, like, the Nintendo 64 or, like, even the Wii U, which I used for one of my test runs there. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So, yeah, just like Link to the Past there. Yeah, we got different colored rupees. Let's see, we also got these pots here. Yeah, you can just grab them. Toss them around, and no one will care. Um, but I would like to be able to get that rupee. Game, can I get over to that? Okay, never mind. Then I can't grab that one for some reason. Let's try that one again. Okay, well, this one has the uh, five rupees there, so that's pretty nice. Okay, let's see. There's nothing up top there. Uh, oh, by the way, is this guy indicated there? Yeah, this was Saria's house there. But alright, let's see. Well, let's go over to the Deku Tree then. Keep on getting distracted here, but... Okay, now you see we got these gaps in the platforms here with a whole bunch of water there. Whatever shall we do? Well, in Ocarina of Time, all you gotta do is press forward... And you'll automatically jump from platform to platform. It's not like... Well, from what I've heard, Breath of the Wild, you actually have, like, a jump button. No, no, you don't have that in this game. You just jump automatically whenever you get to, like, well, the edge of a platform or something. Well, I am now! Yeah, didn't 
the fairy pass right by you? Or like, right between your legs? You didn't notice? Oh. Well, you've already got a fairy. Maybe he's got to give me a tutorial of some sort. Well, what do you mean? Oh. Well, yeah, that is a good point. Who said he wanted my help, though? Well, I guess the Deku Tree said that, but he doesn't know that. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to have to take a look around and see if we can find a way to uh, get that. Okay, let's see. So let's hop on back over here. And, well, there's the shop with the red roof there that the one girl was talking about. So let's see. We can just go right over there. Hmm? Who's there? Hmm. Oh, yeah. So you press the L button. Yeah, there's a little girl sitting up there for some reason. So once you L target something, press the A button, boom, you can interact with them. Hooray! Oh, well didn't you already just do that? Right, yeah, I figured that out. Yeah, so that's something you could do. Talk to people from a distance and things like that. Let's see. If we go... Hmm. Hold on a sec. Yeah, sometimes the frame rate gets a little jumpy on me there. But, uh, well, it seems to have resolved itself now. But, uh, well, as long as it doesn't happen too often, I think we'll be okay. But let's see. Okay, so yeah, we got some soft soil here, but we can't do anything with that. Remember that for later, viewers. Okay, so this is the shop, like the girl was saying before, but I don't have enough rupees to buy anything that I want, so let's not worry about that. So yeah, this is just a little jumping tutorial, like I was just telling you there. So yeah, you jump over these platforms. Hey, we got five rupees there. Happened a little fast there, though, so gotta watch out for that. Oh, thank you for spelling honor correctly, instead of honor. Oh, yeah, that's what they said in the intro there. Let's see, over here we got some, like a flower patch or whatever this thing is. And yeah, you can't really see what's in there, but yeah, usually when you see stuff like this, there'll be some rupees in there, some other items. Oh yeah, by the way, to uh, climb up a ledge, just hold in the direction of the ledge and you'll automatically climb up there like that. See, we got a bunch of rupees here. And let's see, we got some vines on the wall here. Again, if you just press the analog stick in the direction of the vines there, yeah, you can just uh, climb up there. But uh, I don't want to go there just yet. Let's see. Well, we got some more rocks here. Maybe I can get some rupees out of them. No! Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay. Man, he's just telling everyone what to do around here, huh? Hmm, well, let's see what he's got in his house. Maybe I can uh, loot it. Well, we've got quite a few treasure chests around here. All you gotta do is walk up to the front of the chest. You can tell because there's a lock there. And, yeah, press the A button, boom. You open the chest. So I'm just gonna rob him blind. Well, not that I need a recovery heart, but it's there. Let's see. Well, not quite enough rupees there yet, but... Well, we're getting there. What's over here? Yeah, I'm just gonna, like, kind of show everything out around here and scroll around a little bit before getting on with things. Whoa! That's rather extreme. But, okay. Well, let's see what else we got around here. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a few guys up there that will teach you about some of the mechanics of the game, but they're rather long technical explanations. So, I'm just gonna skip over that 
and, well, just tell you stuff as I go. Let's see. So, yeah, we got the, I think this is the Know-It-All Brothers house or something. Let's take a look. Well, we got some pots around here. Can I grab them? Hey, money! And a little more. All right. Let's see what we got here. So, yeah, yeah, they tell you about different things here, but, uh... But, yeah, you could uh, save your game with the start button there like I did earlier. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, though, is that whenever you restart a game, you'll either restart at Link's house or the uh, beginning of a dungeon or whatever. But now I already know how to use that view icon. I've already done that. Oh, well, I'll go over those icons as... We get to that point there. But yeah, eventually we will be able to save at other places. But this isn't like Link's Awakening where every time you enter a door and you save, you can just restart at the house or wherever. Nah, nah, it doesn't work that way. What kind of moves? Oh, okay. Yeah, we got some sort of side hopping that we can do when you're targeting something, and the backflip I already showed you guys there. And you can roll forward by doing the opposite there, moving forward and then pressing the A button. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of uh, moves that you could do there. Let's see. So like, you go left and you hop to the left, or you can roll forward, or... Uh, yeah, do the backflip like I did earlier there. But, uh, yeah, you can't actually lift up these rocks for some reason. Well, let's see what we got here. Hmm. Oh, okay. So sometimes specific obstacles or whatever will have a prompt whenever you walk up to them. So, like, we got this hole in the wall there. Press the A button, and you can crawl through the little crawl space there. What's that sound? Did I hear something? Whoa! Oh. It didn't hit me. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, carry on. Oh, okay. That's kind of pointless, but okay. Yeah, we got some more rupees around here for us to collect, wait for the boulder to pass by, and keep on going up here. And what do we got here? Oh, right, right. By the way, you can actually run around a lot faster if you're just like uh, rolling forward. But all right, we got our sword. But all right, so to equip it, Go to your gear, and just tap the sword icon. Boom, you've got it ready to go. Hooray! So yeah, like, I could roll forward like this to move around faster, but I don't want to have to listen to Link going, Ha! 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 Over and over and over again every time I'm moving somewhere. So I'm only going to do that if I absolutely need to move a lot faster, like a race or something like that. That's also the same thing with uh, moonwalking. If you're moving backward, you'll move a lot faster than if you're moving forward for some reason. But yeah, I'm not going to be doing that myself. That's just a personal preference there. Now, to get some more rupees here, here's a little trick you can do. Let's see. If you do a backflip, get a rupee, side hop, then another backflip. You see, I got six rupees there. So, yeah, there's some hidden rupees there if you perform some tricks around there. So, yeah, press the B button. And, yeah, you withdraw your sword there. And you can cut down these uh, well, bundles of grass. And you can chop signs in half, too. And let's see, what's this one say? Okay, so, yeah, if you do a thrust attack. Haha, -ha, five more rupees. Okay, well now we've got more than enough money to uh, get what I want. 
so yeah, let's uh, head on back to the shop then. Whoop! Hmm, for some reason the water seems to mess with the frame rate a little bit here. Well, I'll see if I can uh, work on that to improve it, but for the most part we're doing pretty good here as far as the recording quality goes, I think. And if you go to the right here, haha! -ha, yeah, we got five more rupees! Yeah, they were just kind of hidden around to the right there. Okay, so, to get the shield, all you gotta do is talk to this guy, go to the right, and we got a Deku shield here. A shield made out of Deku. Well, it is. It's probably made out of uh, bark from the Deku tree or something, I guess. So, yeah, just like uh, Link's Awakening there, the shield will not work automatically. But we're done here. I don't want to buy anything else here. So, let's see. Well, first, you got to equip the shield you want. And then to use it, press the R button there if, like, there's a projectile coming your way or whatnot. Okay, so let's see. We've done everything we can here, I think. So, yeah, let's uh, go talk to Mita and see if he'll let us go. Oh, I'm all set and ready to go, dude. What, you only have one sword around here? Oh, uh, okay. Well, you better. I've got a sword now. <laughs> grumble, grumble. Ha ha. But all right, let's head on over to the Deku Tree. Whoa, what are these things? Well, let's check it out. You can uh, L target them. And whenever you see a new enemy, you could, well, any enemy, you could L target them, then press the Navi icon on the bottom of the screen there. Or on the bottom of the screen, but on the upper left there. And it'll tell you, she'll tell you a little bit about those, uh, well, whatever you're targeting there, the enemy or whatever. So let's see. Let's pull out our sword, cut that guy down in half, and. We get a Deku Stick, which, oddly enough, is twice as powerful as the Kokiri Sword. But usually when you hit something with it, the Deku Stick will break immediately. So you'll get, like, one good hit out of it, and that's it. But there are some ways to work around that problem. So, yeah, and there's other things you can do with Deku Sticks as well, like light a torch or whatever. So for now, yeah, I wanna kill all these guys. They'll respawn after a certain amount of time. But uh, yeah, we'll just kill them, grab the Deku Sticks, and move on. Oh, you, you actually found him. Uh, uh, good, good. Uh, I, I didn't think you'd actually uh, get that done. Hey, right, how's it going? Okay. Oh, so that's what that was I saw during the intro there with that... Those people on those horses, huh? Oh. Okay, am I, like, Force-sensitive or something? Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Okay. He said, it's time to test thy courage. Sorry if I went through that a little quickly there. Oh, okay. No. Oh. Uh. Oh, okay. Uh, uh no, I, I was just jacking with you. Let's try that again. Dude? Can you talk to me? There we go. I guess you gotta get a little closer before, uh, pressing the L button. Uh, sorry about that, dude. I was, I was just messing with you. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm good to go. Got the sword and everything. Yeah, if you don't, she'll say, Hey, listen! Hey, listen! Over and over and over again. You know, there's probably people who would have complained if they removed that from the remix. And those people are insane. Nah, it doesn't bother me that much. But, eh, it can get bit aggravating so yeah let's uh 
Wow, they got ladders and everything around inside you there, huh? But can we find the source of the curse on the Deku tree in here? Find out next time on Let's Play Ocarina of Time. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.